During the week, Dr. Z. Randall Stroop can be found in his office at OSU Serentine Center, but on weekends, he can be found anywhere from Carnegie Hall to the Vatican. Dr. Stroop is a professor and director of choral music at OSU, but his real impact on music is as a world-famous composer. From an early age, Stroop knew he was meant to work with music. I think with a lot of people in music and the arts in general that uh, they decided early on, I mean, because maybe they were interested in art, in drawing, in music, it happened to be that I st started piano at about age eight. So there was sort of a natural propensity, I think, to, to be interested in it. Dr. Stroop has composed 125 pieces over the course of his career. He studied under two other famous composers, Cecil Effinger and Norman Lockwood. They were both students of the famous French composer, Nadia Bollinger. Stroop usually draws inspiration for his compositions from epic or religious texts in order to engage his audience and draw them out of the mundane routine of life. So, I, And I think people are drawn to cataclysmic events, really, uh, because our life is often rather mundane, it's routine, there's a certain wonderfulness about routine, isn't there? But we often go to movies to get away from routine, to go somewhere we've never been, to, to, to watch these action figures do things that you know, we would never do. So I think music is much the same way. It takes us away from the mundane to some world that really makes us feel better for having been there for a few hours. And so that's what I try to do in the writing. Music education sophomore John Lackey came to Oklahoma State just to have the chance to be taught by Stroop. I honestly, I thought he was brilliant. Honestly, like there's, just, there's really no other way to say it. Lackey shared that his favorite composition of Dr. Stroop's is The Conversion of Saul, which tells the biblical story of a man who went from persecuting Christians to finding God. It's a, it's a very compelling way of telling the story. There's lots of, it's beautiful. I can't even describe it. <laughs> it's pretty stunning. Stroop explains that he processes stories through his own experiences and turns it into music. And I think that's what makes it unique, because we're the centrifuge for all these ideas that we've gathered. And the way that we present it then back out to the public makes us uh, what we are. It's our statement. Stroop said picking a favorite composition is hard. But he would be lying if he said he didn't have one. You know, some pieces are your favorite because it took so long to write them. And you, you, know, you, you remember them because it was a, you dominated this whole process. And you were very proud of it, like getting a degree almost. Uh, other pieces are your favorite because emotionally there is a, a very personal attachment to them. Uh, other pieces are your favorite because you wrote them for someone who you really adore. And... Uh, you always remember them fondly because of that, that association. Uh, but my, my, I guess my favorite uh, piece that I've written is uh, in, in, for treble choir would be a, um, There Is No Rose. It's a 15th century text. And for mixed choir would be Amor de Mi Alma. Although he has conducted at the Vatican five times, Stroop says he achieved his greatest accomplishment here at OSU. I have in some small way change the lives, at least from a teaching perspective, of those people that have passed through my classrooms. That would probably be the greatest success. I, I've been extremely fortunate in doing just about everything I've ever wanted to do and then a little more. For O-State TV, I'm Sarah Bush.